What I wanted to do today is uh, highlight a little bit of the graphics capabilities of the 810. Uh, the Snapdragon 810 has the uh, Adreno 430 GPU, which is 30% uh, higher performance, as, uh, as Derek mentioned, and takes 20% less power. Uh, but, and also, more importantly, it supports a lot of new uh, Open, you know, new technologies in that uh, because of that computational power. Uh, you know, we we work with our partner, um, you know, Epic, uh, to get the Unreal Engine working on that uh, 810. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a demonstration of uh, Unreal Engine working on and running on it. They have uh, deferred shading technologies in that one, and this is a shading technology that's actually mostly being used in uh, PC and consoles. We are now work with uh, you know Epic to optimize that to actually run on Snapdragon. And uh, let's cut to the demo here, and you'll actually see it running. So as you see here, it's running on the Snapdragon 810 here. Uh, there's a, quite a few different things. One of them it has is what is called uh, dynamic tessellation. Uh, the dynamic tessellation really enables the CPU to, uh, to send a few polygons, but let the GPU really create that uh, next level of realism. We also supported something called uh, high dynamic range rendering where when you go from uh, one dark scene to an another scene, you can see that the, the details actually show up even when it's pretty dark. And you can see here uh, dynamically how, uh, how the, you know, the rendering engine actually changes the, the contrast. We did something called uh, linear space lights, where, uh, as you know, a lot of the LCD screens have uh, you know, work in a nonlinear manner in terms of brightness uh, versus uh, how the brightness responds. So we work quite a bit on uh, getting that uh, to really optimized to LCD displays. And here, what you're seeing uh, is a display that's a uh, high resolution, a 4K by 2K display uh, that we're running this uh, Unreal Engine on. A lot of other stuff like eye adaptation, you know, temporal anti-aliasing, which you'll see in this particular scene, that when you go smoothly past it, even the edges that actually move in time are very smoothly rendered. So, uh, you know, if I had told you guys that uh, we'll be able to run this class of uh, gaming experiences on a, on a mobile platform like it's in this phone just a few years ago, I think no one would have believed it. But uh, that's the state of technology that we have here. And uh, really excited that the A10 is here, and you'll see a lot of products with it, uh, with it in this first half. Thank you.